Thyroid eye disease, or TED, has been viewed as a phenomenon seen in Graves' disease of the thyroid, but it's now recognized as a separate autoimmune disease. There is an emerging picture of an immunologic mechanism responsible for the orbital pathology in patients with TED. TED is a potentially debilitating autoimmune disease. I'm going to illustrate the structural changes seen in the orbit in this series of images. The normal eyeball is set within a fixed bony orbit and moves with activity of the extraocular muscles. In thyroid eye disease, the orbit is infiltrated by B and T cells and CD34 positive fibrocytes from the bone marrow. These fibrocytes differentiate into myofibroblasts or adipocytes. Immunoglobulins against IGF-1 receptors activate signaling in the orbital fibroblasts. The fibroblasts then produce haluronon and cytokine IL-1 beta 6 8, 16, tumor necrosis alpha, and CD4 ligand. The cytokines and the haluronons expand the orbital tissue, muscles, and orbital fat by drawing water into these tissues. As the orbital fat expands, there is some proptosis so that the eyeball starts to push out from the bony orbit. There is swelling and redness of the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid. There is pressure on the globe, causing pain at the back of the eye. This causes further lid retraction, pain, and pressure at the back of the eye. The eyelids continue to swell and become red and swollen. The lids cannot fully close, and there is conjunctival irritation and corneal exposure to air. The muscles continue to swell, and the orbital fat compresses the optic nerve, and there can be afferent pupillary defects. The globe proptosis leads to conjunctival irritation and dryness. The senior cells of the lacrimal glands express TSH receptors, the cytokine tumor necrosis alpha binds and results in altered regulation of pro-inflammatory and protective proteins. This changes the tear film. The cornea can become dry. It can also experience reshaping into keratoconus. There is swelling and inflammation of the extraocular muscles. This can cause strabismus and diplopia. Extraocular muscle inflammation and optic nerve compression results in visual changes in visual acuity. Corneal dryness can lead to erosions. A subset of orbital fibroblasts in the orbit can differentiate into mature lipid accumulating cells or de novo adipogenesis. Corneal dryness stimulates increased watering of the eyes. Expansion of the orbital fat and the muscles can crack the bony orbit. This can drop the position of the eyeball. There is a total extraocular muscle restriction in degrees leading to a stare of the eye. Changes in thyroid eye disease can be unilateral or bilateral. Changes in thyroid eye disease are often gradual, but can cause extensive quality of life changes. These can impact patients' activities, appearance, and self-confidence.